This is BBC News with the latest headlines for viewers in the UK and around the world. As Russian drills continue near Ukraine, the US says Russia has built up the most significant military force in Europe since World War II. We see additional forces going to the border, including leading edge forces that would be part of any uh, aggression. After a second day of shelling in eastern Ukraine, Western leaders meeting at the Munich Security Conference again warned that clashes there could be used as a pretext for a Russian invasion. President Putin will watch military exercises involving ballistic and Russian nuclear forces on Saturday. Moscow says the drills are not a threat to anyone. President Biden is shortly expected to speak about the Ukraine crisis from the White House. We'll bring you that live. Also on the program, Storm Eunice leaves a trail of death and destruction in Europe. We'll get the latest from the UK and the Netherlands. And a former Minnesota police officer has been sentenced to two years in prison over the fatal shooting of a black motorist, Dante Wright, last April. Hello and welcome to the program. The crisis over Ukraine continues with reports of a second day of shelling in the Donbass region in the east of the country. Ukraine has accused Russia of launching a campaign of mass disinformation after pro-Russian rebels in the Donbass said they were evacuating civilians for fear of a Ukrainian attack. Western leaders who have been meeting at the Munich Security Conference said again that the clashes in eastern Ukraine could be used as a pretext for a Russian invasion.